Hi ladies, welcome to today's video and basically today's Sunday um, and I have been to a mama and papa's expected parent event and I just really wanted to talk about what I found there, um, what freebies they gave me and what offers that they had. Um, I had been to a mother care event previous, um, uh, it's going back some months ago and they had really good offers. They had certain things on sale well not sell but on offer special on the events then they had an overall 10% off so um, quite a good deal really um, there was 10% off everything and I bought uh, I went armed with a list of things I definitely wanted and got them from there uh, there was some demonstrations there I went to the demonstration on uh, prams and car seats and uh, sleeping arrangements and uh, best ways for them to sleep and things. There were other stands there that was um, independent parties. Some was good, some weren't so good um, and then you got a goodie bag. There was also food on at the event, quite a lot of food. Um, they ordered, I didn't eat any food, I just had an orange juice there, um, but they'd ordered in like pizzas, they had crisps, cakes, chocolates, fruit, all different array of drinks, you name it, they had it. Um, they had good members of staff there, you know, and in all, we walked away with quite a nice stuff, and the goodie bag was quite nice, there was some little bits and bobs in. Um, and yeah, I would I recommend the mother care ones. Um, and then, going to the mama and papa ones today, um, I'm going to tell you the difference between the two and what I found. So the first thing with the mother care one, it was on an evening and they did shut the store and it was only specifically for people coming in. Um, so there was a lot of people there. It was very uh, crowded, I think, because mother care in itself has quite a lot to offer and all different brands, their mother care range themselves. So there's a lot more in their store and it's a bit more packed out. So I added quite a few people in and it was a little bit crowded um you know so if you're heavily pregnant and you're not a very patient person perhaps not the best thing to go to whereas the mama and papa's one it's a very open spaced out store it was an early sunday morning so it was good timing really and there wasn't as many people there you didn't feel um closed in so that was the first thing um when we got to both of the events they checked your names off and gave you your vouchers the voucher at the time initially when I walked into the mum and papa ones this morning I thought the offer wasn't that good but actually uh, because I only spent about 120 it worked out it came to I had just under 20% off which was better than the mother care one because mother care was just 10% off so uh, but you had to spend a certain amount to get that offer at mum and papa's whereas Mother care, if you just bought one thing, you'd have had 10% off it. And then if you bought something on sale, like my cot mobile, which is behind me, I had that in a sale and they also knocked off 10%. So things like that were, were good. Um, and they gave you a goodie bag. Now, the goodie bag from Mother Care was full of mainly leaflets, um, quite a lot of leaflets in. There was. Um, the oh, Nutrimom bars in there, uh, in the strawberry, which I, I like those ones, I'm not too keen on the chocolate ones. Uh, what else was in? I think there was a couple of things like breast pads in, stretch mark cream, nipple creams, little samples. Um, nothing to great value, I would say. However, and oh, when you walked around and you hit the mama and papa's bit where they had their prams, they were giving a free toy away. Um, and I've got another toy, the same, but I think in different colours. So then when we've walked into mama and papa's, the goodie bag they gave you straight away with your voucher after checking your name off. Um, and it's like a nice little canvas tote bag. And it says on it, welcome to the unknown, you'll love it. <laughs> Which I think was quite good. And what I liked is it's not packed with lots of vouchers because I know... Obviously, they was just selling Mama and Papa's things. So, like I said, all that I really got of value in the Mother Care one was probably a Mam Dummy. Um, I can't remember. I can remember the Nutrimom uh, bars being in there. There were lots and lots of leaflets. Um, 
yeah, there wasn't anything that was like, oh, wow, of extreme value. Whereas the only leaflets in this one I quite like. You literally have this one, uh, which talks about car safety. It is advertising this brand, um, which they did a demonstration on. Um, but actually, when we look into it, it tells you all about actual car safety um, and about the frightening facts. Um, why they should be rear facing as opposed to forward facing um things common mistakes and how to avoid them so it's not just a selling point there's actually quite a lot in checklists on how to install your car seats and then it goes on to talk about the particular car seats which they were selling which to be fair they looked very very good um i couldn't um fault any of them uh really but we already have our car seat but um yeah and then at the back it's like got car seat accessories and stuff so that's going to be a nice one to keep and read um then the next one's just advertising their new rose gold pram which is like a nah for us um fill in their online survey which i will do because um I, i've been doing the, the mother care one um, I did really like the Mama and Papa's event today. Just advertising their personal shoppers, which are for free. And then just advertising, I believe is this their pram? Just advertising their pram, which is called the Armadillo. Armadillo. Oh, when it opens up. So just advertising their, yeah, pram. So not a lot of leaflets in, which I like, because they often do get binned. Um... So let me show you the freebies. So we've talked about what I got at the Mother Care one. So the first one is I got a second one of these uh, armadillas, little armadillas, armadillo, uh, which is like a jingle one. Now I have got one of these already, but I'm sure it's an orangey colour. It's not this colour, I'm pretty sure. And this is just like a soft charm to go on your pram. Um, now I couldn't see these for sale in the store at all so i think these are just um something that they give you to advertise the car seat that not the car seat their pram really um but it's a lovely little toy like i said it's my second one i've got now i'm gonna value this at about eight pound because they do a little like um red bus that's very similar to this in size and i think it chimes and that's eight pound but i did um Oh, it says I flip. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Um, but there is one of these advertised on Amazon for nine ninety nine. But we'll say eight pound. So that was the first freebie. Uh, I need to check. It's a different colour to the one I've got. And then the other two freebies I love because they match the theme of my room. So the first thing was I didn't open it in the store. There were people opening them in the store, but I was like, no, I'm not going to open mine in the store. I had it like a sneaky look outside was this and you can actually buy this in there and it's valued at £10 and what it is is just a little vest with a lion on and a little hat that says raw um, for not three months and it's just lovely it's like really nice I think and it's something that's really tiny but really lovely um, and there you can see the price on there is £10. And if we open it up, I almost don't want to open it, you know. Um, but we will. We will. Okay. So it comes all rolled up. Oh, and the hat. It's like one of those beanie hats. And it says they're raw on the bottom, so it's meant to be like a, a hangy hat. So that's really sweet. And then, that is the vest. How cute. I really like that. And I think that's a good um, unisex item to pick. And I mean, I'm, over, I'm chuffed because uh, it matches the theme of my room. I'm going to try and fold it up nice and neat. To go back in the box because I'm just so sad. Um, so, yeah. Even if you didn't buy anything, it was worth going for the freebies. 
Um, so, yeah, that was that one. And then the next item again, I thought was lovely, was a giant muslin square. And again, it's in the same design. And this is worth, again, £9.95 um, you know it's just something little to hand to you and you can actually see a picture there I, I don't want to get this out but uh, I fear I may do it's massive um, and it just says on it that you can use them as burp cloths, nursing cloths swaddles, playtime blankets pram covers and sheets and a changing mat cover so go on we'll take it out and I love the bag with it as well and again, it's just got raw written on the bottom there. So, wow. It's just lovely. <laughs> oh, it is huge. It's absolutely massive. So there you go. That is so big. It's huge. So that will come in useful for all sorts really um, but yeah so freebie wise um, mama and papa's do top the freebies and the thing is I think by giving out these freebies it's what keeps getting people back to your store really um, so I can't get it back in the bag properly but I live like that so yeah, that was quite good. So and the again, you've got the free bag, which I love. I would definitely recommend them to go, especially if you love Mama and Papa. See, I do like it. It's lovely when you go in, but then I'm realistic and I think it's very expensive. So yeah, freebies were better at Mother Care, um, Mama and Papa's. So refreshments when you get in. So like I said, the food at Mother Care, it was loads, just stacks and stacks and stacks. So I'd probably say their food is better, but it was timed on the evening, so they had more of an array of food. Whereas the Mother Care one, when you went in, it was croissants and blueberry muffins. I didn't eat anything, I just had the bottle of the orange juice. They had like expensive branded orange juice and expensive branded waters, and I just had the orange juice. Um, so it felt very classy, very actually well organised because it was 10 till 12, so it was mid-morning. So it was almost like a little mid-morning snack. Um, so food on both sides, yeah, well suited to the times of the events. Um, so, yeah. Um, classes now, well not classes, but talks. So I attended two at the mother care one. The sleeping one and the car seat and uh, pram demonstration. Now, I felt that both were quite informative. Both offered an array, Mother Cares particularly, offered an array of different brands. Um, so, on their pushchair one, we saw the Mother Care Own, we saw Eye Candy, we saw Silver Cross, and I think we may have seen another brand. Um, so, we saw a wide range. Whereas, but they felt very rushed because um, there's obviously a lot more people to move in and out. It was very rushed. Um, whereas the talks at Mama and Papa's, we went and did a car seat one. And actually, even though we've got a car seat, we learnt quite a lot on that car seat of how to fit it. Not just particularly about that brand. Could they just used any brand that was off the shelf to demonstrate it. Um, but they also talked about how to fit it, how to check it. They talked about statistics of if it wasn't fitted correct, what would happen. They talked best advice. So it was a very brief, to the point talk that you needed. It didn't waffle on. And what I did like is they were offering um, the British Red Cross there that was doing demonstrations on how to do deal with choking babies, CPR on babies. Whereas they did have the British Red Cross at Mother Care, but it was only to advertise their first aid courses for children. Now, me and my husband didn't sit it. Uh, I don't need to attend it. I can do paediatric CPR and choking and things like that um, because of my job. But 
for people who don't know, that was well worth going to see and sit there and, and learn what what do I do if my baby's choking? What do I do if my baby's not breathing? Um, you know, so very good uh, classes. Well, not classes, but the demonstrations were better at Mama and Papa's. Uh, again, that's probably because they're more specific with their brands. Um, yeah. And there was no, the only outside individual there was the British Cross. So what gifts did I buy? So the offer I took up was save £20 if you spend £100. And you could, uh, I can't remember the next figure up, but the top one was if you spent £500, you'd get £150 off. We spent about £140 and got £20 off. Um, so the, the first thing we went with intentions to buy was a pram toy. Now, we'd struggled to find the one I wanted, specifically just for the car seat. And we've chosen this one. This was the one I went looking for, and they had it. Now, it, some may think it's a little bit boyish as we don't know what we're having, but the other one was extremely girlish. My husband loves space, and I thought, it's got silver in, it's got blue in, it's got green in, it's got yellow in, it's got a black, it's got red. It's not that girly and it's not that boyish, it's neutral. And this basically is going to sit on either side of the car seat so it doesn't like hang down. So it basically will sit like that. So this was £14.99 and my husband's bought this. He has got to give him the money for it though. Um, but it's basically got a little teether. This crinkles, not much but it crinkles. This is your chime with a little mirror and then this is your rattle. So I just think it's a very nice toy. And when our, the rest of our pram turns up, it's chilly red, so it will match this lovely. So that was the only item we went looking for. We had got to get a pram suit. Um, and we were initially going to have the mother care one. But then when I saw how it buttoned up at the bottom, I was like, oh, it's a bit fiddly. But it was £16 cheaper than the mama and papa's one. But... The Mama and Papa one is lovely. So I've chosen Mama and Papa one in the end. And this is it. So it is neutral. It's just got a little star on. And it's very thick, very, you know, fluffy. It's got a hood. And then at the back, it's just got a little star on the bum. And these mittens fold over, which is what I liked. The other, the Mother Care one's buttoned on. Uh, and it's not too thick. And then you just basically zip down to get them in it. And there's a little button at the top, which I love this. I think it's great. Because um, it is going to be a winter baby. Um, and this was 0 to 3 months. And this one was £36. And it can go up to a £14 baby. So, loved it. The next item we picked up was this, and I wished I'd have seen one of these before. Um, it's a multi-tog sleeping bag. Now, I've got a sleeping bag, but it's a two and a half tog, and I wanted a one tog as well. Um, now, the Grow Company are very expensive, um, but then I saw this one in there, and there was only two left, so I got it. It's a 0-6 month one, and it says it's approved by British standards, but it's a two-in-one. So it basically converts to be used all year round and it can be used day and night. And it was also on offer. So it was meant to be £37.99 and we got it for £26.55. Um, so basically, I'm not going to take it out, but this was the only design they had that we felt was unisex. Um, so it's grey with clouds on with a bit of yellow. So it says it's a two-in-one and how it works is it just has removable inner panels that you can use all year round and then it's got the double press studs and then it unzips along the bottom to do night changes um so it tells you about um you know how big they need to be in it and then it says which tog so a 2.5 tog you can use it all year round with room temperatures between 10 to 20 degrees with pajamas or a sleep suit um and then a one tog you use in the warmer weather when the room is between 21 and 23 with a short sleeved body or vest underneath it. Um, so basically there are inner panels inside that you just whip out and I loved it. And like I said, that was 26.55, which I thought was a good offer. And then the last two items we picked up, 
I don't actually know where my receipt's gone, but uh, I need to go and have a look. It's a nursery tider. Now, I was thinking about buying this before um, and didn't, but then decided I'll have it today. And I'm going to put it up on my door. Um, and it's like a big piece of fabric. That's the top pocket. You can see there. That's the top pocket. And then underneath, it folds down into that pocket. And it basically, you just put things in and it's the shape of a giraffe. Well, not the shape of a giraffe, but meant to look like a giraffe. And this was £27. And it's just going back my door. And I like these bags, actually. They're quite good. And then the last item we bought was something I was thinking about. I initially picked up the cheaper one and then put it back because I read the reviews were crap. Um, this one was double the price, but I read the reviews on it and it said it was fantastic. Now, we have got a baby bath, but... I was a bit paranoid that I'd struggle. Um, so, yeah, we thought we'd get one of these. And it is the bath support, basically. And it fits inside any bath. And it's suitable from birth to six months. Um, it says it keeps your baby in an ideal bathing position. And it supports your baby and frees your hands so you can wash effectively. Um, and fits simply to the back of your baby bath. Um, or can be used in an adult bath and this is what it looks like so um, so this bit's non-slip and then it's quite big feels very sturdy it's obviously got mama and papa's on there and it's got the sucker pads on the bottom and this was £22.50 and the other one was £12 but it looked very tiny and then when I read the reviews the reviews said it was actually really crap um, the sucker pads didn't stay down very well it was very tiny for the baby even newborns it didn't hold them securely whereas this one had like five stars said it holds securely perfect position for the baby grows with your baby so I thought spend a bit extra because it's better to be safe than sorry and then at the end at the till they gave us a little checklist which I thought was really good so I'm going to start ticking that off I've probably got most things and um, let me have a look what it says so a cot and cot bed yes we've got that cot fitted sheets we've got that and we've got blankets uh, we have got a car seat and we've got half of the travel system uh, baby's clothes now I haven't got any booties because I wasn't going to bother buying any. I've got some scratch mitts, but all my body suits have built-in scratch mitts. We've got some hats. We've got a pram suit. Well, a snow suit. Uh, got a couple of cardigans, body suits and sleep suits. We've got a change mat. We've got nappies in the bags. We've now got a baby bath and a bath support. We've got a top and tail. We've got baby sponges and cloths. We've got towels. We've got cotton wool. We've got hairbrushes. We'll need some nursing bras. I've only got sleep bras at the minute. We've got breast pads, nipple cream, bibs, muslin squares. We've got all the bottles and sterilizers. We've got a Moses basket. We've got a changing ba uh, box. We haven't got a baby carrier yet. We were thinking about having one. Oh, these say it's good to have. So we haven't got a baby sling, but we're thinking about getting one. We haven't got an ISO fix, but again, we're thinking about getting one. We haven't got a car seat rain cover. Do I need one? I don't know. I may do. I didn't realise I had to get one. We've got a baby monitor, we've got breast pumps, we've got storage bags. We've got all the baby toiletries, we've got the bath and room thermometers, we've got scissors, nail wrapper, nappy wrappers, we've got a play gym, we've got a first aid kit. Uh, yeah, and then the other stuff is just a list for hospital. So that's quite good. So yeah, would I advise to go? Definitely, I'd advise anyone to go because I just thought it was an amazing day. Uh, we weren't there too long. We didn't feel pressurised into buying anything. It's a good laugh. You learn things even though you think you know everything. I The big thing I learnt today was the handlebar on the car seat, when it's in the car seat, must be up because it acts as an anti-roll. Um, basically, if it rolls, it will roll right over. It won't tip onto baby. I didn't know that. Um so uh, they talked about making sure the car seats harness is fitted how if you've got a pram suit you need to pull because if it's you know got you've got your pram seat pram suit on you could actually be that far off your baby um so they said like when you feel like it's tight pull a bit more 
So they were very, very good. Yeah, I'd recommend anyone to go. It was a fantastic day. Thank you for watching, and any questions, drop them in the down bar. Bye.